Hi there! Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the video. In this video, it's all about Discord on malware. It's another Discord video. It's not about the Discord drama anymore, but this is how to protect yourself from malware and what to expect when you have this kind of malware. As you can see on my background right now, I have antivirus right here. Before I can get here, or I'm before I get into it, before in the antivirus stages, I'm going to teach you or I'm going to show you what kinds of malware to expect when you're using Discord, okay? Because I've just stumbled upon this new malware. I'll just search it up and I took a few screenshots to show you guys. Because I don't have it right now. I haven't experienced it. No one gave it to me. But upon research on Google and the internet and a bit of deep dive on the uh, web, I found a few screenshots that a few uh, users had experienced and I've compiled them and I'm going to show them to you now, okay? So, again, this is video is about malware on Discord. What I mean is that hackers, um, virus uh, users, now use Discord to hack your um, PC. What do I mean by that? So, please let me just minimize this one. And as you can see here, I have a lot of screenshots. If I'm not mistaken, they're 23. And then before I get into the first one, I just want to ask you kindly to get a piece of paper, a pen, a pencil, even a uh, scratch paper, a torn art paper, whatever you have right there, write down notes. Um, write down the things that are important here. Especially this is malware. This is not a joke. Again, guys, this is not a drill. If you have a notepad on your PC or you're using your laptop, just type in notepad right there. A little notepad bar or application will pop up. Make sure you have it right there and then let's get started, okay? So... The first thing I want to show you is what kinds of malware to expect and how to get them. This is the first screenshot and this is how you actually get that malware uh, running on your Discord. It doesn't mean that when I say running, you'll see this happen uh, on your background in a sense that it's going to be uh, installed without you knowing. So for example, a, f a random stranger, random friend, a friend on Discord, for example, let me just open my Discord right here. For example, you have a friend right here that you haven't been talking for a long time. As you can see, a lot of I have a lot of friends here, and not all of them have been active for a few years now. But let's just say I have a specific friend that has been inactive for almost five to ten years now, and suddenly, out of nowhere, you sent you this with a specific caption: "Uh, hey, sugar, download this file," or "Hello, daddy," or something like that. It's somehow an enticing or a flirty subway caption on the file, okay? So, as you can see here, it says malware.xa. I, I just saw this one, but they said that it doesn't specifically say malware. Of course, you wouldn't download it if it says malware, right? <laughs> anyway, it's somehow it says uh, Fortnite hacks or um, Call of Duty hacks, Valorant tips and guides. It's just a gamer's heavenly code. An enticing tile or an enticing uh, file name for all the gamers out there. That's usually the file name of this malware. So when you click on that one, you download it, you're going to experience this one. Or you're going to see these few files on your PC. Let me just open number 6. So these are the few files. It's a RAR file that you're going to download and then they're going to be directly on your download um, section on your PC. So what comes with them? What can you see from them before you download them? Usually they offer it via a hack, as I've mentioned earlier. It's gonna be this one right here. Give me a second. It doesn't uh, scroll down, I'm afraid. For example, this one. It's a Call of Duty Modern Warfare cracked download PC, COD Modern Warfare moreover. So as a fellow gamer, personally, I was um, playing Call of Duty before, before it became like a dead game, because right now, actually, it's a dead game. Now, before it became a TED game, this is actually a, a pay-to-earn or pay-to-play um, game. This exact specific game, Modern Warfare, not the Battlegrounds uh, mode. This mode is a multiplayer mode that can only be played once you bought the game. So imagine as a gamer, you suddenly have this kind of message from a friend saying you can have this one just by clicking the link. No, once you click the link, Bada doom, bada dum. Welcome to your malware. Something like that. Okay. So this is what you can expect to your PC downloads. It's gonna say Garfield and Fortnite hacks. 
let's specifically Garfield or Fortnite hack. Sometimes they say, um, uh, food or something like that. This guy just changed them on this specific file name, but the file icon should be like this. Okay. Now, for example, you run Fortnite hacks because you want to have hacks on Fortnite. You want to have fun. Who doesn't have want to have? Who doesn't want to win a Fortnite? Who doesn't have want to have those kills, right? So, for example, you run that one. You're just, it's gonna be running on your task manager. It should be right here. Once you click on that one, it's gonna be on this files right here. Let me just check here. Give me a second. It's gonna be under startup. This specific icon should be under here. You won't be aware. You won't be. Uh, you won't experience it. There won't be any lag. There won't be any problem with your PC hardware specifically. You won't have any lag. You won't have any like blue screen, white screen, something like that. You will not experience that. This kinds of malware is different. What I mean by different is, of course, as my previous videos on Discord malware, they hack your passwords. You heard me right. They just don't hack your password. They hack everything from your PC. So let's just say you're playing this game on internet. It's called Neopets. And Neopets usually ask for a login. And who doesn't experience this one? Who haven't experienced this one? All of us is aware of this kind of pop-up on Chrome. It's the save password. I'm sorry for if it's pixelated. So it's either save or never. And I always say this one. Since my previous videos, always click never. You can just rather up click on your notepad right here and then save your password right there. For example, your username is Lestri and my password is Lestri101. Give me a second here. It's better, it's safer to just save it into your notepad and then just name it, for example, um, Facebook logins, something like that, rather than clicking save on this Chrome. Why am I saying that I'm strongly against this one? Because in this specific malware, when you open it and then you run that Fortnite hacks earlier, the hackers will have your information, will have access, will have control on your information via Discord channel. So let me just show you what a Discord channel looks like. These are the Discord channels. As you can see here, I have a few. And each channel has each sections. For example, this one has text channels, voice channels. On this one, it has server chats, door, um, main general, and those kinds of users over there. Now, why am I showing you this one? It's just to let you know or let you be aware on where the hackers um, are resides or what they use or where, where they are. So this is where they are right now. It's a specific server that you don't see. Again, you're not going to see this platform. You're not going to see this landing page. It's their own. Okay. So what can you see here or what the hackers can see here is, for example, on this specific message, you've opened new pets earlier, right? There is new pets right there. You click on enter. You click on backspace. You click on the username, the tab, the password, of course. Even the specific key that you press are logged here. This is called the keylogger on Discord. It's a specific term that says every button, every keypad, or every keys you press on your keyboard starting once you run the malware will be logged here. Now, that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's just the appetizer. That's just the intro of this malware. I'm going to get to the dessert or the main meal later on. Before we get into it, I'm just going to check my recording. Make sure everything is good. Now. From here, as earlier, this is the Fortnite hacks on your task manager running in the background. Now, on the number 10 picture, these are the, the channels that you can have or the hackers can see on their end using your PC. Now, as you can see, it has info, main, spam, recordings. Actually, recordings is the most scary one. And the spam is actually that they can send spams on your PC without you knowing. Now. Let's move on to the number 11. I don't see any arrows here, so I can just left arrow key, I write arrow key, I'm sorry. So I'm, I keep on clicking X and then clicking them again. And then for the info, as you can see here, the malware or the hackers can see you see every thing. For example, your IP address, your host name, OS name, pro version of your computer. Moreover, that is pretty dangerous. This is just the beginning. 
So let's just check on the 12 screenshot right here. They can also get your passwords. Now, where do they usually get this one? It's going to be on Chrome settings password. The thing that pop ups here every time you log in and then you say save or never. Once you click on save, they will be saved right here. And as you can see here, I don't have even a single one because I never click save there. So this is the place where the Discord hackers get the passwords. They're going to be sent right here as a file name or a text file. And as you can see here, they're pretty specific, right? So moving on, on the 13th screenshot, what if the hacker just decides to grab your history? You heard me right, it's a history on your uh, browser. For example, this one, they're going to grab everything here. Let me just show you the screenshot on the 14th one. And now this is your history from the start of the day to the end. You can also expand the history file. Now, the thing here is, the hackers can get anything here, for example, even the screenshot of what you're doing right now specifically. For example, if a hacker click on .ls and then I'm currently on this landing page or this desktop and then I'm showing this, you'll receive this or the hackers will receive this message. It's a very specific one. They're going to see real time whatever you're doing. Okay? So I'm just going to show you. Let's just browse through them, for example. The hackers click on join, dot join. What does that mean? That join will give you or the hackers will give access to whatever you're saying on Discord. For example, you're in a voice channel. So these are the voice channels, for example, right here. Let's say you're joined here, okay? And then the hacker just decided, hmm, what if I stalk him or stalk her, whatever he's saying, and just click on dot join right there, and then they'll have everything that you say starting from the point they click dot join up to the end point where you relieve that channel. It's pretty scary, right? Well, that's the reality of those hackers. They can get everything from your information, from your history, from your recordings. And of course, they can also kill your computer. What I mean by kill is that kill, they can shut down anything or any process that you're doing. For example, this task manager right here, as you can see, they have processes. They can choose anything here that they can kill. For example, let's just say they want to have fun. They can kill your Microsoft browser and delete everything you're doing in a snap. That's pretty inconvenient, right? Let's just say for here, they're going to ask or the bot is going to ask them, do you really want to kill process.chrome? As I've said earlier, they can kill browser processes. And then if they uh, decide on yes, whatever work you're doing on right now will be gone without even being saved. But that's just not important. That's just a hassle. For me, the most scary part is they're going to grab your information, your passwords, and so more and so more. Let's check on 21st right here. For example, here, they decided to download a text file. Download mom tax return that txt. Where did they get this? They got this from the history you got earlier. Let me just check the history from earlier. Here. Once they click on history, they'll have this um, platform right here. The results from 49 to 51. Actually, it's, for, it's 1 to 51 earlier. I think the person who did this forgot the screenshot. Anyway, they decided to take the sensitive file of income tax return. Now, they can get it because you, you, you use your PC to do your taxes, right? They can get the information, whatever you have on your PC and download it and they'll, they'll receive it without a problem. So what if they s decided to send something? Because since earlier, they're just downloading, right? What if they decided to s upload now? Send just a little bit of GIF, a little bit of some sum on your PC. They, they're just going to type in that upload single. And then from there now, they can just send everything on your PC without you knowing. They can even send a specific malware. I'm just going to say a Fortnite hacks again, for example. Or they can send a pretty serious virus on your PC. And then it will be downloaded on your C file, users, downloads, Fortnite hacks. And then, you, without you knowing, a virus is running on your PC behind the background of your PC. Pretty scary, right? Now, how can we avoid this one? Just go to any browser you have. I think I've closed the browser earlier. Let me just check my recording, make sure everything is good. Okay. 
So you can download any uh, antivirus, specifically this one. Now, I don't suggest the free versions because usually they're not that good. So I'd rather g pay every month or pay the one-time fee on antiviruses to just protect your computer or just don't download any malicious hardware from any friend or from untrusted um, uh, Discord friends, you know. However, let's just say you accidentally downloaded it and then you want to remove it. You just reformat your PC, start from the beginning, delete everything, delete your OS, delete everything from 1 to 0, and then just reinstall your OS, reinstall your PC configuration, set it up from the start, and then start a antivirus application. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys.